Okay, so now we're on number four. The School Spirit Club ordered shirts to sell out as a fundraiser. The model below shows the percent and decimal of the shirts they ordered that were blue. So first of all, this percent equals this decimal, okay? And because when I printed, um, for some reason, the fractions were marked out, I went ahead and filled those in. So when I'm going from a decimal, because the percent to decimal is already done for us, so I'm going to go from a decimal to a fraction because that's what my answers are in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by making my place value chart. And I'll go ahead and just put ones here so you can see. And then tenths, hundredths. And this is actually thousandths. Okay, I abbreviated that for space. Thousandths, okay. I do not have anything in the ones place. And there's my decimal. My tenths is one. My hundredths is two. And my thousandths is five. So when I make up my fraction, I'm actually going to put it over 1,000. Okay, this ends with a 5 and that ends with a 0, so I can actually divide by 5 for each of these to simplify. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make my 5T chart. because I'm going to be dividing by five. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna to have to go into this other line. I don't like doing that, but it'll be okay. Five times one is five. Five times two is 10. Five times three is 15. Five times four is 20. 5 times 5 is 25, 5 times 6 is 30, 5 times 7 is 35, 5 times 8 is 40, and 5 times 9 is 45, okay? Five cannot go into one. If I have a dollar, I cannot buy anything. I'm going to subtract and bring down the 2. Okay, 5 can go into 12. Well, let's see. I can go 2 times without going over. Now I'm going to bring down this 5. 5 times 5 is 25. And I can stop. I'm going to do the same thing for the 1,000. Okay. Notice I'm not skipping any numbers. And I'm trying to keep everything lined up. And I'm bringing down every number. Okay, every number is accounted for. I'm not stopping just because everything is zeros. Okay, so now that's 25 over 200. Okay, so again, I can go by fives. I have a five and a zero, so that's my clue that I can divide by fives. What I do on top I must do on the bottom. Bringing everything down. Oops, you can't see. I'm sorry.
Now there's five. Okay. Two hundred. Five goes into twenty four times. I can go back and look at my T chart to make sure. And again, every number is being accounted for. Okay. Five over forty. Again, I can divide by five. What I do on the top, I must do on the bottom. Okay. Five divided by five goes in five times. Okay. Five goes into 40 eight times. Five divided by five is one. So five divided by five is one. 40 divided by 5 is 8. I apologize for that. There we go. Our answer is 1, 8. Okay. So now, this was 4 continued. I'm going to do number 5. Matt has answered 20, to tw uh, 20 out of 25 of the questions on a test. What percentage of the test questions has Matt answered? So what I need to do is I need to, first of all, simplify that fraction, okay? It ends with a 0 and a 5. That's my clue that I can divide by 5, okay? I can also use my T-chart from up here because these are both 5 in the denominator. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 25 divided by 5 is 5. Now I've reduced it to 4 fifths. Okay. So now I need to go ahead and turn this fraction into a decimal. My 5 is my denominator. I'm going to add my decimal point with my two zeros. If I have $4, I could not buy anything that costs five. I'm gonna bring down that zero. If I have $40, how many things can I buy that cost five? Well, I can buy eight things. I'm not going to stop. I have a zero that I need to bring down, okay? I cannot buy anything if I don't have any money. Okay. Now to go from a decimal to a percent, I need to multiply by 100. There's two decimals there. So I'm going to put my two on the outside. Zero times zero or zero. Zero times zero is zero. Zero times zero is zero. I am at this placeholder now. There we go. Zero times eight is zero. Zero times eight is zero. Eight times one is eight. Add everything together. And I'm gonna bring my decimal point over twice. The answer is 80%. Okay. Notice how I'm showing my work on my form. This is number five. Okay. Now I'm going to go to number six. There it is. Alamocola manufactures a soft drink made with 25 hundredths percent peach juice concentrate. What is the percent expressed as a fraction and a decimal? Okay. So this one, and I was using this as a warm-up example, so let me erase that. I'm on number six. Okay. 
this one has a decimal point right here, okay? And I'm going from a decimal to a percent. This decimal point is very important. It is not just 25%. It is 25 hundredths of a percent. I'm going from a percent to a decimal. To a fraction. Okay? In order to go from a percent to a decimal, I need to divide by 100. So I'm going to make my 100 t chart. I'll go ahead and do it over here. Six, seven, eight, nine. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. Okay. I'm going to divide by 100. This is 25. And I'm going to bring that decimal up, okay? I'm going to go ahead and add two zeros, okay? If I have $2, I cannot buy anything. If I have $5, I cannot buy anything. Macy made a mistake. That's why it's important to always go back and make sure am I doing everything right as I solve the problem. Especially when I'm talking and writing because I'll write the numbers that I'm saying or that I'm thinking about. Here we go. 200. 500, and that can go five times, okay? I'm going to go ahead and make my T-chart. I'm going to do that down here. So this is tenths, hundredths, thousandths, and this one goes to ten thousandths, okay? And there's my decimal point. I'm going to go back here. I have no tenths. I have no hundredths. I have no thousandths, and I have five, or two thousandths and five ten thousandths. Okay. Here we go. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it over ten thousandths. Okay. I could divide this by five, okay, because I have a five and a zero. What I do on the top, I've got to do on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my T-chart from here. Five goes into 25. Well, that's five times. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 goes into 10,000. This is going to have a lot of zeros. It cannot go into 1. I'm going to bring this down. And I'm going to keep bringing each zero down. until I am done. Oh, 
I probably need to drink some coffee, you guys. I'm sorry. There we go. Now that looks about right. And they say showing our mistakes makes us human. So you guys are seeing me in my human side this morning. I apologize. It's pretty early when I'm making this. Okay. So then it's 5 out of 2,000. And once again, I'm dividing by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. Okay, cannot go into 2. It can go 4 times. I'm going to bring down each 0. Ah, 1 over 4 hundredths. And that is an option. You notice I just did not go with the decimal because there was two here. So I had to fully work the problem to see what it would be.